Let us start with the next organelle that is Golgi body or Golgi complex. Golgi body or Golgi complex name is given because of the scientist Camillo Golgi who observed this complex for the first time in nerve cell of barn owl and cat. The nerve cell which actually he observed was Purkinje cell. The technique used to see or observe this Golgi body is known as silver chromate staining. The reason why this special technique is used is that Golgi body and cytoplasm has the same density. So it is not visible clearly and that is why the silver chromate staining is used to observe and study. Golgi body can also be stained by Sudan 3. This is a stain which can be used to stain Golgi body. But this was the main method which was used because of its same density and this method helped Camillo Golgi observe uh, the complete structure in the nerve fiber. In plants Golgi body is known as dictyosome. Its ultra structure was given by or it was observed in electron microscope. So, ultra structure was given by Dalton and so it is also known as Dalton's complex. So, when we write all these names they are named after the scientists. So, it is known as Dalton's complex. So, observed by Camillo Golgi, Golgi was Camillo Golgi was given the Nobel Prize for this discovery and Dalton gave the complete detailed structure. Golgi body is present in all eukaryotic cells. Again there are exceptions, there are certain cells, eukaryotic cells which do not have Golgi. So, except same mature mammalian RBC, it is also absent in gametes or spermatozoa of bryophytes and pteridophytes. Other than that most of the eukaryotic cells have it. Prokaryotic cells again do not have any membrane bound structure. Golgi body can be of two categories depending upon its location. So, location wise if it remains at a fixed place between plasma membrane and nuclear membrane then it is known as localized. Fixed position between nuclear membrane 
and plasma membrane and if it is scattered around the nucleus anywhere then those are known as diffused. Diffused means scattered in cytoplasm. Number of Golgi bodies? In animal cells normally the number is 1, in plants the number can be more, uh, more of dictyosomes and in plants they are diffused that means scattered, in animals normally they are localized. So number is again variable, 1 Golgi body in most of the uh, animal cells plus a certain organisms like microsterias. It has only one, 25,000 Golgi bodies have been reported in rhizoidal cells of chara. In rhizoidal cells, 25,000 of Golgi bodies have been reported, but normally the number remains 1 in animal cells and about 6, 7, 8 in plant cells, but we can see some uh, extreme numbers also, 1 also and multiple also. Structure of Golgi body, again it is made up of 3 things. Cisterni, tubules and vesicles. Same things which are found in ER or endoplasmic reticulum also. The cisterni are again thin narrow tube like structures. They are not straight, they are slightly bent, curved or cup shaped. So when we draw a cisterna, we make a tube which is bent and its ends are swollen and they are stacked one over the other ends are swollen number of cisterni per Golgi complex is about 3 to 7, 3 to 7 cisterni per Golgi body. Here we have drawn 3 but they can be 4, 5, 6 to 7. Unicisternal Golgi that means only one cisterna is there has been reported in fungi. Unicisternal in fungi. This is again a very special thing where there is only one cisterna. These cisterni may be interconnected again with the help of some tubes which are known as intercisternal tubes or connections. From these bulging ends of cisterni arise the tubules. So these tubules are again finger like structures which are growing from the cisterni and vesicles. Vesicles are normally closer to the concave side. This side is concave and this side is convex. So this convex surface and this is concave surface. They are special for a particular reason. Concave surface is always facing the nuclear membrane. That means here is going to be the nuclear membrane and concave surface is towards the plasma membrane. Convex towards nuclear membrane, concave towards plasma membrane. This particular surface that is the one which is convex is known as cis or formative face, cis 
or formative. That means something is going to start forming from here. And the concave side, which is towards the plasma membrane, is known as trans, trans or maturation phase. So from here, whatever is formed from this side will get completed by this end and it will be released. So here we find more of vesicles. So basically what is happening is from the nuclear membrane ER which is synthesizing the proteins or SCR which is synthesizing the lipids, they send vesicles. These vesicles would come and join to the Golgi body. Those proteins or fats will undergo changes in Golgi body and then they will be packaged into special vesicles and now here they will have enzymes or the molecules which are required for specific functions and they will be released from this phase. So here transformation is completed plus you can call it maturation of that vesicle but from here it is starting. So from this place it starts here it gets completed. So convex site is towards nuclear membrane and it is known as cis or formative phase. Concave side is towards plasma membrane and it is known as trans or maturation phase. This is very important whenever we draw Golgi body in a cell the orientation should be like this only. Golgi body is also known as pleomorphic organelle. It is called pleomorphic. Morph means form and pleo means changeable. So the shape of Golgi body changes according to the function or need of the cell. So shape changes according to the need. Need of the cell. So it is a pleomorphic organelle. Structure is very simple. There are cisternae, vesicles and tubules. No ribosomes studded on it. So all the surfaces are smooth. Only thing is when we are drawing we have to take care of the ends of cisternae to be shown as bulging ends and there should be connections. Now there are two ways in which this substances move in the Golgi complex. One is a progressive thing, the lower cisternae they start moving up and the newer cisternae would be added at the bottom. So when the material from endoplasmic reticulum comes into the lowest cisterna, this cisterna starts to move up. The upper one it dissociates or it dissolves. So this one will come in the middle and then will become the uppermost. So substances can be carried by the cisternae themselves or there is another method which is these canals. So it, the substance comes into the cisterna and through these canals it can be moved upward. So there are two possible ways in which the material can be transported in the Golgi complex. Now let us come to the functions of Golgi body. Golgi body performs many many important functions. First as we can see the substances coming into the Golgi are processed and packaged. So one very important function is processing and packaging of substances. What are those substances? They can be proteins, they can be fats, they can be converted into enzymes and so on. If these substances which are processed here and packed into these vesicles are enzymes. So enzyme containing vesicles are known as lysosomes. So ultimately it is forming lysosomes also. So in formation of lysosomes.
when we were talking of mitochondria, we said mitochondria helps in vitellogenesis, fat synthesis. But at that time, we also said that mitochondria does not work alone. It works with Golgi body. So Golgi also helps in vitellogenesis. That is yolk formation. Vitellogenesis is yolk synthesis or yolk formation. Golgi body also helps in formation of cell plate during cell division and this cell plate helps in formation of middle lamella and cell wall. So cell plate helps in cell wall and middle lamella formation. This cell plate would appear only at the time of cytokinesis especially in plant cell where the cell wall and middle lamella is to be synthesized. In human sperm, Golgi body changes into a structure called acrosome. Acrosome in sperms. This acrosome secretes or releases enzymes which digest the walls around the egg. So this is for secreting enzymes. So Golgi body not only helps in packaging and processing but also helps in many other uh, things like cell plate formation, vit uh, vitellogenesis and acrosome. Plus it is an important component of that same endomembrane system. Endomembrane system has all the membranes, nuclear membrane, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi, lysosome and plasma membrane. So everything is a part of it. So this becomes, we can write the next function here, it is a part of endomembrane system. part of endomembrane system. So now we have done everything about Golgi body, some historical things, who gave the structure and who discovered it, then how the structure of Golgi body is, what all three things are there and the main functions of Golgi body. So uh, up till now we are done with mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi body. We will take up the next organelle that is lysosome now. Let us take the next organelle that is lysosome. Lysosomes were discovered by Christian D. Dewey. Christian D. Dewey. Its ultrastructure was given by Navikov. Christian D. Dewey discovered it in liver cell. And the ultrastructure is given by Nevikov. It is present in all eukaryotic cells. Again, there are some exceptions. One exception which is common to all these organelles is mature mammalian RBC.
and always remember to write mature because young or immature RBC has all the organelle. They get lost when it matures. So mature is very, very important. Plus, it is absent in yeast, neurospora, euglena, and meristematic cells. So these are some eukaryotic cells where lysosomes are absent. Number of lysosome depends on the activity of the cell. Lysosomes have enzymes. So if a cell is helping in digestion of something or breakdown of something, it would have more number of lysosomes. Like number would be more in WBC for example, where the phagocytes are, the WBCs which are phagocytic, they engulf the foreign particle and the lysosomes will help in digestion of those. So number would be more in WBC. If a cell is not performing any kind of digestive activity, the lysosome number would be very, very less. Structure wise, it is just a simple spherical structure, a simple membrane and what is present here is mainly hydrolytic enzymes. Now these enzymes can be on in different stages and what is inside like what is the matrix actually made up of makes four types of lysosomes. So it is basically on the matrix composition which gives us four types of lysosomes. So lysosomes are polymorphic organelle, they are poly morphic. We have used a very similar term in case of Golgi body that is known as pleomorphic. This is called polymorphic. Morph means form, poly means many. So when lysosomes are found in many different forms then it is known as polymorphic. So it is a polymorphic organelle. First is known as primary lysosome. Primary lysosomes, they have inactive hydrolytic enzymes. The enzymes which are present are inactive in the form of proenzymes. When a phagosome, when a cell engulfs something and when that phagosome or the phagocytic vesicle enters the cell, primary lysosome binds with it and then the enzymes get activated. So when the lysosome has active enzymes, it is known as secondary lysosome. So secondary lysosomes have active hydrolytic enzymes. So this is the stage when they are helping in breaking down of food or digesting the food or even destroying the pathogens. After this digestive process is done, what remains in the lysosome is a residual body or you can say undigested food. So that lysosome now is known as tertiary lysosome. It is also known as telosome. It is also called residual body. It has only undigested food remaining. Undigested food which remains inside this is to be thrown out. The fourth type 
is known as autophagosome. Autophagosomes are the ones which are going to engulf, digest the structures which, has, which are inside the cell. Remember we were talking about mitochondria having its lifespan of about 5 to 10 days. What happens after that 5 uh, day life period? They are engulfed by lysosomes. Mitochondria or other cell organelles are the parts of the cell. When they get old or when they get damaged, they are to be removed from the body or removed from the cell. That is also done by a lysosome. But this particular lysosome is not helping in digestion of the food which is being taken from outside. Instead, it is helping in removal of old or damaged organelle of the cell and that is why it is called auto. We also have talked of phagocytosis. Phagosome is something which is being engulfed. What is that thing which is getting engulfed is its own that is auto. So when the lysosomes ingest, take in their own cell organelle, the organelle of the cells which are old or damaged, then those lysosomes are known as autophagosomes. They digest old and damaged organelle. If the complete cell gets old, then the old cell needs to be digested. In that case, these autophagosomes will rupture. When they rupture, all the enzymes are released in the cytoplasm. So all the cytoplasmic content plus all organelle, everything will be digested. At that stage, we will call them suicidal bags. So they act as suicidal bags and the condition is when the complete cell is to be digested then only they would rupture and act as suicidal bag then it will be called autophagy the complete cell will be digested so these four types of lysosomes are basically different due to what is in the matrix now as we have written these hydrolytic enzymes which are here these hydrolytic enzymes work in acidic pH. The pH which is required is about 4.8. At this pH, these enzymes are active. How does the lysosome maintain this acidic pH? This is because of the membrane of the lysosome. So this membrane It keeps taking protons or H plus ions from the cytoplasm or from the surrounding. As H plus ions are going in, the inner medium goes on becoming more and more acidic. Plus, as H ions are removed from the outer side, the chances of outer medium becoming acidic or less. So it is preventing the outer medium from becoming acidic. At the same time, it is keeping the inner membrane or inner medium acidic. So it is helping in two ways. Provides that pH, acidic pH for the enzymes to get activated plus protects the surrounding by removing the H plus ions. So that is the function of this membrane and the uh, pH of the medium can be maintained as acidic. Functions of uh, lysosomes, we have written most of the functions here. One more function which we can write here is that it helps in maintaining the basic pH of cytoplasm. Uh, cytoplasm is little basic. So by removing H plus ions, it makes the basic pH of cytoplasm and acidic pH of the inner medium. If we have to sum up the functions, it may, lysosomes basically help in digestion of food. It can also be considered as digestion of the foreign particles plus it also helps in removal of the old and damaged or worn out organelle of the cells. It can also help in digesting the cell itself when the cell turns 
old because new cells are continuously formed and the old cells are being continuously removed. So that is also a function of lysosome. So very simple organelle just simple structure a spherical body and four forms. Lysosomes because they are helping in removal of all these things if they do not remove these things then those particular things they remain in the cytoplasm and those result into metabolic disorders. So that would be malfunctioning of lysosomes. Simple structure. So now we have done more uh, of membranous structures like nu uh, sorry not nucleus we have done mitochondria, Golgi body, ER and lysosomes. Now let us take the other important organelle as well which play an important role in the functioning of the cells.